Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to go over this little simple program called Mac Boost. -er. And um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of things. Uh, basically, I'm just really voicing over what I recorded earlier. But um, I'm a little bit experienced with computers, and I'm going to tell you the do's and don'ts of this program. Uh, what I'm looking at right now is, you know, I'm trying to figure out what's really safe to get rid of. Um, I'm really, you know, seeing, you know, how I can push my limits, you know, to the most safest possible thing. Because in my past, I ran into a loss of data and weird errors that my computer took a while to recover from. And um, I really don't want you all to, you know, become a subject to that. So I'm going to tell you how to use this program in an effective way. Um, without you hurting your computer. First, what I'm looking at right now, I'm checking out uh, work mode and game mode. Um, these two modes, you know, are simple, self-explanatory. The, the game mode is um, is simply, you know, for gaming or not, uh, it's that sort of thing. Where you're gonna, you know, have over for a game, which I don't know why you'd be gaming on a Mac. I mean, it's, it's just dumb to. But yeah. I actually see some pretty interesting things in the startup optim um, optimization menu. And uh, for some reason, this whole Sophos or Sophos, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, hasn't given me problems and you know, just problems with uninstalling it and everything. So I'm going to disable that um, everything to do with Sophos or Sophos um, from starting up. I believe that's actually going to speed up my computer a lot, saying that my Mac really doesn't need an antivirus. And I was just really dumb and thought I needed one. Even though now I know it doesn't. But, you know, everything else uh, I'm looking at right now looks like it should stay. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to keep them all. You know, the rest of them. Especially my Canon MF scan engine. I really need that. But yeah, um, back to the memory. Uh, as you can see, um, I'm still looking at the computer here. Uh, Checking out work mode now, clean and boost. Now, um, you're gonna wanna uncheck internet security and disk clean. Um, those just seem so unsafe, so so unsafe. Even system cleanup, but I'm gonna test my limits. I'm just gonna click scan because you know that couldn't possibly hurt my computer. Just clean and scan, could it? Um, so yeah, as it waits, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why um, I'm not doing internet security uh, main reason um, because I really don't want to affect my internet settings I mean I'm completely fine with them I didn't also I really don't know what it's really going to do so I wouldn't want to harm myself and harm you and of course this is my first time using this program um, so I'm just as new as you would be at it uh, I just know a little bit of things you know from my past of what I've done with these programs but yeah, um, I did the whole clear RAM thing, and as you can see, I uh, cleared up my RAM a bit. Um, you'll see that in a moment, I got a clean memory. Um, but in the meantime, I'm still looking at performance boost, you know, and, uh, you know, what can boost it. Um, there's duplicates finder. Um, I really don't end up staying on this very long. I actually end up um, stopping it eventually because I'm... Um, just the type of person who doesn't like to wait a thousand years for something to complete. So, on large files cleaner, and that looks really promising. Um, because there's so many files in your computer that you don't use that are large files. And it's usually really um, important for you to keep up with the large files in your computer and get rid of them. Because that's the clunk, that's the junk of your computer. And, um, you know, it's... That, that kind of thing, you know, those kind of things you really shouldn't, um, you really shouldn't have going on in your computer, you know, uh, especially the things that you haven't been using, uh, and you can sort it, you know, by, um, the largest file it can has to be above a certain amount of megabytes as you see at the top, and, um, something that I found out nice about this program, uh, it's a 14-day trial, and... I say that's nice because you may only use it once or twice, and it's probably going to be within that 14 days. So you really don't have to 
buy it, but if you do buy it, you know, make sure to actually, you know, purchase it if you like it. I can't, you know, do some horrible thing and say, don't buy it, this is horrible, because that's not me. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click remove the trash, because just in case I accidentally delete something I don't want to delete. Um, but yeah, that's how it's looking. Now see my memory, ah, uh, get out of that. Go back and rewatch that. My memory is a little bit better than it was last time. Um, but here's my installer. Um, there's some apps that I'm probably going to want to get rid of. See, I'm a little struggling. You can't really select more than one, seems. It's kind of weird. Yeah, these are um, these apps that I have that I'm actually keeping are actually really cool apps. And I kind of recommend having them on your computer. Um, especially FileZilla, you know, if you're going to do some server stuff and whatnot, you know. Um, it's a really good idea to actually have it on your computer. Because you're going to be able to manage your server a whole. You're going to be able to manage your website server a lot more easier. Delete files, add files. You know, put actual custom locations. Um, it's going to make the process a whole lot easier, and I really recommend doing it. Um, see, there's a lot of things in my computer that I really don't want. Memory clean. I think I'm going to keep that, just because it's coming in use a lot. Shadow Guns, that's an awesome game. Download it. Um, X Quartz, it's for like website or whatever it is. It's just for programming. Um, Alright, see, this is where I get really lazy and I just eventually, actually, in a little bit, I'll click stop because I'm just uh, taking too long. I just want this to be done with already. But yeah, um,. You know, these types of programs, they're really great, and they can really help your computer, but, you know, you really shouldn't use it unless you're really having an absolute breakdown on your Mac. It's not healthy to keep it with your Mac like you would a Windows computer, because you don't need to, it's just going to waste time, but um, the in-depth reason is because... Um, Things are so beautifully laid out on the Mac, um, on OS X, on the Apple. Um, OS X is uh, the operating system um, of Apple products for like desktop use or laptop use, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, see, I just clicked stop and I got, oh, man, don't feel like waiting long. See, so, yeah, I'm going to check around, you know, see my duplicates, you know. You, you might want to spend a little time with this, figuring it out. Um, it kind of seems strange to me, but, um, you know, don't go around deleting everything. You know, some duplicates aren't really duplicates, and it'd be a shame to get rid of them, uh, because if you delete something that isn't a duplicate, then I'm sorry, I can't help you, and you just lost your project. Uh, that's why I'm not deleting any, uh, documents because I'm pretty sure I named two files on the sources references since I'm in college right now and typing research papers all the time. Um but yeah you know how these duplicate find usually they work is they usually find files with the same file size or same uh most likely the same file name and they ask you if you want to delete it. And uh sometimes it's a really good idea and sometimes it isn't you really have to um you really have to be careful because you can really run into some big problems and ruin a lot of things and I wouldn't want that to happen. Um but yeah, that's pretty much it with this program. Um I know I rambled on a lot, but I hope I helped. If you really liked it, put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you'll see a lot more of my stuff. Thanks, bye.